Welcome back. Sacramento's Bacon Fest is underway. Chef Brian from Raley's is joining us with his entry for Bacon Fest. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having Did me. Did you know right away what you were going to compete uh, with? Almost. It took a little while, but yeah, yeah, I kind of figured pork, lots of pork, bacon. That would be a good start, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wanted to go a little sweet and spicy, get everyone's taste buds. Moving. For competition, is that kind of the key? You want to be able to kind of walk both sides of the aisle with something? Yeah, I think so. You want to try to cover as much, as much hot, cold, you know, you want to Make sure you got contrasting flavors and textures. Right. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, this is what you're going to be submitting, I guess. Right here, it's, it's a pork tenderloin. It's stuffed with more pork, which is ground pork oh with gosh. apricots and a little Asiago cheese wrapped with uh, bacon. Wow. Uh, this is harissa bacon, harissa cured bacon that's been smoked with hickory and a little cedar. Hmm. It's going to end up <clears throat> little medallions like this. And then we're going to top that with a sauce, a cold sauce made with uh, apricots, jalapenos, cilantro. Yeah. Just gonna serve it like that, probably get a little garnish on top of something. And, uh, on top. okay. So this is where we're going. This is where we're going, but, but I'll show you how to get there. But we're gonna go back in time now. <laughs> and I'll here's show how it actually happens. What you do is get a pork tenderloin, you can get it at any store, Rayleigh's, Bel Air, you know. <laughs> make, a, make a couple slices. Nicely done, Brian. <laughs> the butcher can actually do this for you too, if you tell him to butterfly it out. Just okay. butterfly it loosely. You get your filling, and this is just ground pork that has been mixed with uh, dried apricots that have been soaked in a little white wine mm -hmm. and some Asiago cheese. That's a good tip. So the butchers really don't mind if you ask them to do uh, No, like absolutely that. not. They, okay. uh, that's their craft, and usually they, they have fun doing it. They don't, a lot of places don't do it as much anymore, but I think all the markets are getting back into it. Right. F load your filling up right there. Fold it around. And uh, pork like chicken seals itself, so you don't have to worry about tying it. You don't have to worry about anything really? like that. Right. I didn't know that. Uh huh. That's something I, huh. someone taught me, thank God. Easier to <laughs> not worry about keeping everything stuffed in there. a lot of time than having there. to cut all the string and stuff off. Right. Interesting, so it'll seal back up. Okay, and so now uh, you have we're going to wrap bacon. it with bacon to make sure it stays sealed, but it'll okay. stay sealed. And now this is you, for did flavor. Did you do something magic to the bacon as well? Bacon I cured six days uh, with a harissa cure. and. Uh, You'll see on Saturday's show how to make bacon, so okay. we'll show you how to make this particular nice. bacon. So I have a question for you. You're Absolutely. talking about with a competition you want to try to appeal to everyone. Everyone. You're a father of five. At dinner time, do you appeal to everyone there at the table? Uh, not always. No. <laughs> not always, but uh, yeah, I try. I you try. don't explain to them that I'm a Napa-trained chef? Uh, Eat that? <laughs> no. Sometimes they understand. Sometimes it's... <laughs> Order out pizza. Uh, <laughs> Just like you, the rest of us, which is kind of right. fun. So you've got it all wrapped up. End up with like this. Uh, throw it in a, on a sheet pan, put it in your oven 350. Cook it at 350 for about 45 minutes. Okay. And uh, pull it out of the oven, let it rest for about 10 minutes, and slice it up. You don't have to serve it like this. You can eat it right from there. But this is So I was serve. reading recently that the new trend is that you want pork just a little bit pink. Yeah, is that pork true? should always be a little pink. Just uh, a little. It, it isn't like the olden days when everyone was worried about trichinosis because, I mean, it, it depends on how it's raised and how it's handled. Um, but, yeah, it should never be passed medium well. Let's okay. say medium well. A touch of pink, it's always going to be good. With the bacon, it's cured, so a lot of times you get bacon that's pink. And uh, it's, it's cured, and it's, it's basically all instances cooked. Well, it smells amazing. Good luck in the competition. Thank you. You have a strong entry there. Uh, thank Good you luck at much. dinner tonight. <laughs> that might be your bigger challenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you. let's get a check on our forecast. We have had a little bit